Hey everyone, welcome back to the reptile room. Today, I'm gonna to give you a couple of reasons why you may not wanna keep reptiles. Starting off with, depending on what you are keeping, you're gonna to need to keep fresh fruits and vegetables, and you might need to keep insects, and honestly, if you have an insectivore, you should be trying to offer them some plant materials as well. And then, if you're, if you're keeping snakes, if you're keeping snakes, you also have to keep bags of frozen, frozen rodents is what I prefer instead of live, then you don't have to keep, you know, those. Plus there's a whole bunch of reasons why I choose not to do live anyway. And these are far more easy to keep in your freezer. Let me go ahead and get some of these animals, some of their food. I'm gonna get a couple of pieces of the bell pepper and greens for the basilisks, and I'm going to give a couple of pieces to the plated lizards. It seemed like last time I had pretty decent success with uh, offering them a banana, a uh, couple of pieces of banana. So we'll see if maybe they'll go after some of these. Bell peppers, they're pretty fragrant and uh, something to spice it up so they, so they understand that it's there is a few mealworms just for extra movement. It usually gets the plated lizards going pretty well. For the basilisks, I know they aren't as uh, readily gonna go after this uh, in my experience. Superworms yesterday, so they may not be interested for for a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and give Ronnie his. Oh, there you go, bud. That you may not want to keep reptiles is the enclosures. Some places just don't have the right enclosures, I think. So you end up spending a little bit more on enclosures. And I've done a couple of polls over the last few weeks on my channel in the community tab. You guys should check that out if you haven't seen anything over there. I've asked how many reptiles you're keeping. There are a couple of choices. There is a typo. I just didn't feel like making a poll over again because I already had votes on it, uh, but check it out. And then the other poll is about how much you want to spend after you buy your reptile. It was pretty interesting. So go check those out. I'll give it another week or so down there for both of them. Don't forget to comment on that too, because I do need a little bit of context uh, in some of your responses to the poll. If you wouldn't mind, that'd be awesome. So back to this, you kind of want to, you know, your enclosures can get you a little bit out of hand. The third thing is that you may end up with more reptiles than you really anticipated when you got into the hobby. Now, when I got into the hobby, all I had was caboose and that's what really started me off. And then I, you know, we picked out Ronnie and he's fantastic. We knew we wanted to keep him and have him outside. The bass lists were awesome. And then we just kind of got a little bit more. And I do want to thin down our groups a little bit just to concentrate a little bit more on the uh, interest. I'm super happy we have the bass lists and I'm super happy we have the plated lizards. But they aren't what I thought I would end up with. And now that I have them, I kind of want to thin out our leopard geckos. So, you know, if local people hit me up, email me, I got a few. Anyway, a fourth reason, a fourth reason. I don't know if you guys see all these, you know, like lights and there's heat everywhere. Light and heat, light and heat. Ronnie's is ridiculous. He has all kinds of lighting and heating to meet his requirements. 
and I do use thermostats and everything to regulate the temperatures to help out offsetting additional costs and whatnot, if you will. Um, I don't think our electric bill is too out of hand. Uh, it isn't, you know, thousands of dollars. This is this is pretty straightforward. I we I do take efficiency in mind. That's why we have enough reptiles that I decided to build a room in this house. Well, mostly because we were planning on this guy, and then I had also thought, well, if we're going to build into this, you're going to want an area to sit. Well, there isn't really an area to sit in here anymore. So. Uh, you know, we, we moved a few animals in. You know, so what's that? Four reasons why you might not want reptiles? Yeah. So why do I keep them? Well, why do I keep them? They are a lot of work. You know, you've got a lot of people don't really think about daily needs for these animals, and they do have daily needs. You've got to be down here managing your, especially if you have different varieties. I think the fifth reason, that is number five, yeah. The fifth reason is also a reason to not keep reptiles and maybe a reason why I like to keep reptiles. Uh, the different challenges that you face. We do have multiple species, they do have different needs. They are relatively similar. Uh, they are similar enough that that is how we have decided to keep what we keep. The challenge of keeping these animals is definitely a, a downfall and a fun thing. You get to learn a whole lot about them. You get to watch them interact and behave differently. It's really fun. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And if you like to uh, travel, it's a bit of a challenge when you have to call up a pet sitter and you're like, hey, do you know how to keep uh, lizards? And they say, no. And you have to go over that with everybody pretty much everybody it's very hard to find pet sitters who are you know who who are willing to feed so you do have to base different trips and stuff around that anyway those are a few reasons why you might not want to keep reptiles and you know a, definitely a reason why i like to keep them it's challenge and they're fun and not many people are keeping emerald basilisks or plated lizards and i really like those they're out there and you can get them relatively inexpensively but here are better ways to keep them than what they tell you you actually need and i want to upgrade the plated lizards so that's another downfall and a fun thing about keeping reptiles is you're always upgrading you're always building more but you do end up with keeping some pretty cool animals when you look around and you take the time, you get to see some really cool behavior. And they end up being really rewarding in the long run. And if you like a challenging puzzle, man, these, these guys are a bit of a challenge. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments section, like the video, share it around, subscribe. Thanks, guys, we'll see you next week.